Hello everyone. The question number four is prove that one upon under root eleven is an irrational number. Again, we understand that a rational number can be put in the form of p upon q, where q is not equal to zero. P and q do not have any common factor, any common factor except one. So when we are talking about this as a rational number, this can also be solved as question number one, where we will assume that one upon under root is an irrational number. So I can write it as p upon q. Squaring both the sides, it becomes one upon eleven is equals to p square upon q square, or q square is equal to eleven p square. Eleven p square is divisible by eleven. That means. That q square is also divisible by 11, so q has a factor in 11. 11 is one factor of q. Now, when 11 is one factor of q, we can assume q as 11m. When we put the value of q as 11m in this equation, it will become 11m whole square is equal to 11p square. Further solving it, 121m square is equal to 11p square or p square can be written as 11m square. If we see this as an equation, then 11m square is divisible by 11 or 11 divides 11m square. If 11 divides 11m square, that means 11 also divides p square. And when 11 divides p square, it means that p also have a factor 11. It means p and q both are having a common factor 11. And our two, according to our uh, definition of rational number, p and q should not have any common factor except 1. It has a common factor 11. That means it is contradicting our definition of rational number or we can conclude that 1 upon under root 11 is not a rational number. And when I am saying that it is not a rational number, that automatically means that 1 upon under root is an irrational number. We have to actually keep one thing in mind that whether it comes into under root of any imperfect square, under root p, where p is not a perfect square, it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 5, it can be 6, it can be 7, it can be 8. Where the value of p is not a perfect square. Perfect square means 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, for which we can find out the under root. If under root p of these values are there, it is a rational number. Otherwise, in all the cases, it is an irrational number and the procedure of solving the question will remain the same for all the questions. In the next class, we will talk about question number 5 onwards. If in case you have any problem, you can email us or contact us. Thank you.